Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna see how much weight we save by chopping off the barrel on the 6.5 Creedmoor build we're doing. We also did some other custom bits to that and I'll show you those in a bit. Um, just off the bat, I asked a question on Facebook a while ago, who, um, what do you, how much weight do you guys think we would have saved by chopping four inches off that barrel and uh, doing the fluting and other bits? The answer to that we'll get to just now, but the one um, guy, I think it was JM, was super, super close. Um, this is how much we chopped off on that barrel, which is quite a lot. It's difficult to see in comparison if I just hold it to you like this. This is a, the same barrel that has not been chopped. So that should give you a good indication of just how much we've taken off that. Um, then what we did is, <clears throat> so uh, this is what came back. So Warren at Gun Warrior did a fantastic job on this. We did some great deep flutes on this. Let me see if I can try to get this camera to focus. He has threaded this tip for me, um, which is going to take one of his suppressors or silencers. He also put a 20 MOA scope base on there for me. He did a custom job on this bolt knob. Let's do that so the camera can focus. So he changed the standard Hawa bolt knob and they also did a trigger job for me to take away. I don't know if you guys remember, but in the first video we did, there was a lot of wiggle on these triggers. Now there's no wiggle. Um, so that's pretty cool. So what I want to show you today is just how much weight we've saved by doing these modifications But first what I'm gonna to have to do I'm just gonna to have to pop another 20 MOA base on that other barrel action So that we can do an even comparison to that What I also plan on doing at the end is drop popping the silencer on and seeing sort of if if it evens each other out Cool, let's have a look Right, so now that we have our scale set up, let's see what the weight difference is between these two. I'm gonna put it like diagonally across like this so that it works a little bit better. So we have two, eight, four, five for the unmodified action or barreled action rather. So keep in mind the second one has had a trigger job done to it. So it's got a different trigger in. We have fluted the whole barrel. We've chopped off four inches of that barrel, which is this. Um, then we have fluted the, the, um, the bolt and the, put a new bolt handle on that and the reading we have on that is 2245 so that is 100% on the dot 600 grams saving. Now what we said we were going to do is add the silencer and um, so let's see what the weight difference is when we add the suppressor to this um, and it's a, it's a pretty bulky suppressor as you can see so let's let's have a look at what that does to our weight differences so immediately we're saving five grams on that little cap <laughs> what I like about this suppressor is that it screws over it goes over the barrel quite a bit um, so that's gonna make it a little bit shorter so the reason I chopped this barrel by four inches is because I didn't want a giant long rifle like that so I thought having a little bit of a saving putting the the suppressor on the front will give me a little bit more um, maneuverability because this will be like sort of a short range hunting rifle that'll be in a folding stock and uh, yeah basically going to be my my sort of vomiter rifle so now that we have the suppressor installed which is uh, in a matched matched Cerakote let's see what the weight difference is on that this is going to be difficult to put on here so now this goes to 2705 so let's compare that to the unmodified action and see sort of if we've saved any weight um, overall so we got 2750 this side and we have 2A39 so we're still 134 grams better off after having done this modification than having a standard barrel action from Hawa with the standard trigger in so save a little bit of weight but I mean that is nothing compared when you once you have a look at what the overall package is going to weigh. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. What I'll be doing also, I'll be doing a separate video to compare uh, the two barreled actions uh, between each other with the thread protector on to see just how much feet per second we lost by chopping this much off the barrel. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and guess about 200 feet per second. So I haven't actually shot any of these two barrels yet at all. So they, they're brand spanking new. Um, but I'm gonna guess about 200 feet per second for that those four inches we've taken off. Uh, then what I'll be doing, I'll be adding the suppressor and seeing how much velocity we gain back from that. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, if you like the content I'm producing, please hit a thumbs up. Please comment with any suggestions of stuff I can do in the future. But in the meantime, enjoy the videos and uh, have a great week.